hello, welcome back to a snowy Angus in Scotland. Snow's went back on again, I was hoping the snow's going to stay off so I can get my drone up, but hopefully it's just a wee shower this time because as you can see, we've had about 12 inches snow. Very deep, but very bonny. Compositions with a drone, this should be interesting. It's like a composition challenge. Can you do what you can do with your camera? Get your compositions the same on your camera as what you can with a drone? We'll soon find out. That can be the that can be the challenge for the day. Composition. A composition challenge. Drone versus camera. You've all seen my camera compositions. Let's see if I can transfer that onto my drone. Let's crack on. Come on. So that's the row of trees I was looking at, and that's the row of trees I've got the drone up on. And if you can see the way the the, the shape of the plantation of the trees goes away at an angle, and then you've got the dike at the side of the road, and my footprint seemed to add a welcome effect. And I'm hoping it's a different kind of composition because because I'm so high up. It's hard to get a kind of foreground element, so I'm hoping that the dike, as the dike's running along the left hand of the image, and I think there's, a, there's enough in it to make a composition, definitely. And uh, it's just like a, it's just a wee bonny area, even the shed at the top, there's a shed with cows in it at the top, and it's all, it all adds to the mix. And I took my time and I looked about and I took the drone around in circles and I put her up and down and that seemed to be the best kind of composition for that picture and I think my, 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 my footprints kind of helped. But um, we'll go and crack on and we'll go further down. I'm heading, there's that turbine whirly thingy my jig again. I'm going to go to the woods past there if I've got enough energy walking through all this snow. It's, uh, it's filling up my wellies. What do you see? The wellies are touching the top of the wellies. But we'll crack on. There's another snow shower coming, so we'll try and get over to that woodland area. Away at the other side. Even just standing here, I can see a bonny tree right at the other side of that windmill. So that, that's where I'm going. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. The effect of the trees with the snow on it. So it just adds to the quality of the picture and it just adds to the character of the tree itself and it just adds to the image it's an extra element and we're like totally spoiled just now with this snow because I don't usually get this kind of snow not snow like this in a few years so I mean it's deep very deep and it's just hanging off of the trees and it's just I'm the first person down here and it is just beautiful, stunning. Very spoilt indeed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, that was a bit of an effort. If I could see my goal, that's what I was heading for. I was putting in the effort to get here. Out of breath. Make sure I've got no hangers or booters. And uh, I could see my reward in the distance. I could see the skeleton, this like a skeleton effect of the forest with the snow on it. I mean, in the summer it's green and it's beautiful and it's lush, but when there's four inches of snow sitting on every branch, it's just stunning. This is where I'm heading, into that wonderland. Look at it, Bonnie. And all the way along this back edge here, every now and again there's a standout tree. A standout tree which could be a main feature of a photo. All the trees along this kind of line, kind of all match, they're all the same, they look stunning in the snow, don't get me wrong. But there's nothing unique, they're all regimented, they're all soldiered down the fence line. And what I'm wanting is a standout tree, a tree that's different than the rest, a tree that if you're walking through this woods yourself you would think, oh dear, that's bonny. So that's what we're going to look for. We're going to go into this woods, into this fantasy land as it looks like from here. It just looks like another planet, a different world altogether. Stunning. And this is just this is just me going on a walk in my local area. What you guys, what the majority of you guys do that watch my channel, just go for a walk. That's all I'm doing, going for a walk and I'm just reporting back. And I'm just lucky enough to sometimes report back really bonny features. It really is just a different world in here. I've only been down in this woods once, maybe twice before. I'm trying to remember what's under my feet. Because I'm sure there's a wee burn that runs down here. And I think it's maybe covered in snow. Because it's not the biggest thing, but it's in a big canyon. And, um, well, not a big canyon. <laughs> uh, a wee embankment down to it. And I don't really want to be falling down into that. Look at this, look the shadow of the windmill, windmilly turbine thingy my jig. It really is out of this world. Stunning. Beautiful. Wow. Now there's a composition there. The route I've walked through. What we up there? I really am getting spoiled today guys, the snow helps, definitely, it's an added element, it's very much welcome. So I'm sure memory serves me right, Whoa. I'm sure if my memory serves me correct, the burren, there's a wee burren down here, I can't remember what's under my feet. Aye there it is, the wee burn. Oh, there's kind of two wee burny bits. Must come out from underneath the, underneath the ground. There's a composition there, isn't there? Can you see it? I think I am going to set up here. I'm going to try and capture that, because that's just beautiful.
stunning, isn't it? I'm just wanting to kind of emphasize the, the beauty of the nature of this photo, plus the strangest kind of beauty in a windmill, windmill turbine thingy my jig. I mean, they're not the bonniest to look at. Some people think the scar of the land, but when you've got the sun behind it like this and the snow in the trees, there isn't this. There's something just quite unique and quite special about it. So I've got my 15mm to 45mm lens on. Just so I can capture everything, so I can get the wide range of trees and light and everything. So let's see what we can get. So for this photo, this one photo, I'm going to have the windmill in the middle, the turbine, sorry, in the middle. So a rule I try and stay, stay away from, I try and stick to having it, things off centre because I don't like it, but just the way everything's going, the way everything's going into the, the, the focus, the subject, the main feature that's causing all the effect is, is looking like it's going to have to go in the middle. So what I've done, I've set it up for in the middle, but I've just knocked it slightly. Just pushed it off to the side. So it's now sitting, it's now sitting with the turbine on the left hand side off centre and, the, and that main tree there that's kind of matching the height of the turbine, sitting just off the right hand side. So the turbine left, right hand side, the tree, and there's nothing really in between. My socks are getting wet, and uh, so I've got my polarizer filter on. Remember these filters that I didn't really want to use before because I didn't really like using filters, but I'm kind of hooked to this scene because the light's so prominent in the background. We're going to use that just to reduce the sensitivity, the light sensitivity on the sensor, so it doesn't burn out my image and it should bring up all the colours and it should give me a bit more play when I come to post editing on my laptop. So I'm shooting back in manual mode, I'm not in aperture priority mode this time. I'm in manual mode, the snow's on again. Really is turning out to be something special. So I'm shooting at one four hundredth of a second and my ISO is away up at sixteen hundred. My ISO is at one thousand six hundred. I'm gonna drop that down. Too high for my liking. So my f7.1, 140th of a second now, still quick enough, still quick enough to get that crisp picture without the blur of the arms of the turbine, and I think that's going to be a really decent photo, fingers crossed. <laughs> i
Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Bony. Doesn't look real. You think that was fake? Must be the way the snowflakes are falling through the sun rays. <laughs>